It's so bright in here. It's not bright. It's like the sun. It looks really good, though. Look at the background. Look at how the background is glowing. I'm literally having to, like, squint my eyes. Are we going to open up this box or what? After you turn the light off. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, and we do product reviews, and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And also, make sure you hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. Are you ready for this? The light's still on. <laughs> but it looks good. I guess. So, welcome to Two Crazy Ketos. This is the Keto Box. So if you don't know what a keto box is, this is a monthly subscription box that uh, I actually pay for every month. It's got like eight to 12 keto snacks in there. It's a nice way to try things without buying an entire case. This is our middle son, Anthony, who is not keto, but is a food critic. And he likes to criticize keto products. So uh, every month we go through this whole box. He's in charge of the box. We're going to try the different things that are in the box. We're gonna let you know what the ingredients are, how much it costs, and then finally, Anthony's gonna tell you whether or not it's worth it for you to eat, try it, because we're gonna try everything in the box. Oh, is that the first thing? This is the first thing. Because you had to remake it, you had to make it I ahead of time, right? Yes, I had to make it. So we've actually done a review on these. Um, I'll I leave haven't. a link for that up here. No, you have not tried it. So this is the Upside Down Bakery, which one is this? Upside Muffin Blueberry. Blueberry, Blueberry muffin. muffin. Okay. All right. So we yeah, the ingredients. Almond flour, allulose oil blend, which is palm oil, coconut oil, egg whites, gelatin, whey protein concentrate, Coconut flour, blueberries, contains less than 2% of the following. Leavening, uh, which is sodium bicarbonate, sodium acid, phosphorate, monocalcium phosphate, uh, monk fruit extract, silicon dioxide to prevent caking, and natural flavors. Okay. Serving size is just the mug. About this much. Okay. <laughs> um, 240 calories per serving. 18 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, 3 grams of fiber, 2 grams of total sugar, and there's 11 grams of allulose. So 17 minus 3 minus 11 is 3 grams of net carb. Do they still have on the rest of, on the thing like ingredients or how to make it like a heaping tablespoon of yeah, water? Yeah, I don't know what a heaping tablespoon is. I know, of water. I said the same because thing. Because technically, you're not supposed to use a tablespoon and teaspoon measurements for liquid. You're supposed to use the glass measuring cups. Yes. Well, you can use a tablespoon. Well, why don't you just say like three tablespoons? <laughs> Like why? I just don't know what a heaping tablespoon. Use is. use heaping tablespoons for like if it's brown, like three heaping tablespoons of brown sugar because it's over it. You can't overdo it because water will fall over the. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it like this. Okay. There you go. This is what it looks like. Wow. <coughs> it's it's got a good blueberry flavor. It's like gum. It is a little gummy. Way too much gelatin. Right? They added gelatin in here? Did I read that wrong? No. Why is it so weird? It's I can't weird. swallow it. Mm. No, that's not good. I remember the chocolate one. I like the chocolate one. Still trying to swallow it. Price on those is three dollars and sixty six cents a mug cake. All right, what's up? Oh, this is the next thing we had to prepare, right? Oh crap! There's another one in the box, so we can show what it is. So this is Golden Ratio Original Gold Coffee. And it's pretty much like a tea bag for coffee, 
right? Yeah. So you turn water into gold as easy. Just make it like you'd like it into cold uh, gold brew for a bold you. Place one golden ratio pouch into eight ounces of boiling water. Steep it for five to 10 minutes, so just like tea. Remove the pouch and enjoy. Add a few drops of honey, no, or your favorite milk. Sing Neil Young while steeping your cup of gold. Prepare like a morning cup of coffee or tea. Get creative, do your own thing. So... So no ingredients on it? It says, our gold coffee drinks like tea, but is made with Ethiopian coffee beans for a smooth flavor and strong caffeine kick, which begs the question, is your coffee for pee people or is tea for coffee people? You decide. So it just says there's 100 milligrams of caffeine per serving. Rose scale, it's just below blonde at gold. Is it, are, do we put any sweetener or anything in this? I didn't put anything in it. Okay, so it's just... And it, I'm a tea person. It looks like tea... It does look like, well, it says it, you might, I'm a tea person. It looks like tea. It smells like tea. But it smells like. It smells like coffee and tea. It smells like chocolate coffee. Smell it. Take a smell. Just take a, an aroma. It's got a little bit of a chocolate smell. Yeah. Not, it does. Not that much. A little well, bit. Well, I'm going to try it. Okay. I'll wait until. It's like. I will be completely honest. I never drink coffee or anything without any type of cream and sugar. I would drink this straight. It's very mild. Almost uh -huh. like watered down. But you have eight ounces of water in there. You didn't even overdo the water. It definitely doesn't this taste like tea. coffee. It tastes like tea. This tastes like tea. But, but I think that's their point. They're even like. It even said. Like. Is is it coffee or for tea people? I don't or know. Or tea for it coffee tastes, people? It this is this is this is coffee for tea people. It this it, is coffee for me. It is a cross between coffee and tea it, as far as flavor. If you are more of a tea person than coffee, you would like this. If you're more of a coffee person, you probably it, won't like. this. We don't this. have an autofocus camera up there, so that's not helping. Oh well. Uh, they are fifteen dollars for seven of them, so that's like two dollars and. Eight ten cents, two dollars fifteen that's cents terrible. per each one. So that's not too bad. I mean, the price of going to a coffee house. Next up, I'll make sure I do this one. Baja jerky. I love beef jerky. I know you do. Traditional beef jerky, smoke flavor added. All right, Baja Fresh. Ever like the Baja Blast from uh, Taco Bell? That thing is amazing. <laughs> Um, it's a keto channel. You're talking about Taco Bell. You just meat there? Um, so there's two and a half servings in this container. Serving size is one ounce. Uh, 50 calories per serving. One gram of fat. One gram of total carb. Zero gram of, sh of fiber. One gram of sugar. Okay. The ingredients are beef, tamari sauce, which is water, soybean, salt, and sugar. Water, brown sugar. Liquid hickory smoke, Worcestershire sauce, distilled white vinegar, molasses, sugar, water, salt, onions, anchovies, garlic, cloves, and tamarind extract, natural flavorings, which it, which has chili pepper extract, uh, lemon juice, granulated garlic, ground pepper, turmeric, tamarind, cardamom, avocado power, powder, and contains soy and anchovies. Lots of spices. Yeah. Lots of like There's sugar in here. I mean, I've had beef jerky Whoa. with sugar. There's still only one carbohydrate. Sometimes they use it for curing. You make beef jerky. Some, You got to remember what happens is you make that marinade mm. and then the sugar stays in the marinade. You don't use up every drop of the marinade. But sugar is like listed like three times in there. Is this all something. I'm getting right now? Because I, you're going to take I, the whole thing. I'm going to tell you right now. This smells really good. And I promise you this is going to taste really good. Oh, yeah. You're not getting this. That's mine. Really? That's mine. There's well, sugar in it. You can't have it. Nope. I bought all that Bucky stuff. There was some sugar and I still ate it. It I was really care. good. This is mine. Okay. Uh, price on that stuff is $6 a bag. It's really good. Is it really good? This is some of the best beef jerky I've had. No, you have to go to Bucky's. Yeah, no, it wasn't that good. I had it. Don't <laughs> listen to him. This is better. It this was is better. not. Mm mm. This is good. I'm gonna have to hide this from you. All right, how much was it? Six dollars. 
I never pay six dollars for beef beef jerky though. That's that's a good price for beef jerky. That's too expensive. I never pay that much. Are you serious? <laughs> really? Like you can't? We've all had this. Really? Sweet Baby Ray's No Sugar Added Original. I don't even have my glasses on. Ingredients, water, tomato paste, distilled vinegar, allulose salt, contains less than 2% of modified cornstarch, apple cider vinegar, caramel coloring, natural smoke flavor, natural flavors, uh, potassium sorbate, pota uh, sodium benzate, which are preservatives, spice, xanthan gum, mustard flour, paprika, onion, succulent, uh, and something that's dried. <laughs> I don't know. Serving size, 1.5 ounces. This, that's a, this is a big serving. 20 calories, 6 grams of carbs, less than 1 gram of fiber, 1 gram of protein. I mean, that's a lot of... So, a it, lot. Came with, it came with two. This, this is two servings, honestly. Okay. Original barbecue sauce. Well, it is different because you're the one you have in the fridge is Sweet Baby Rays. This is from the makers of Sweet... It's, it's the same one. Are you sure? Yeah. It's the mm. same one. It's the same one. <clears throat> it's the same one. It's just barbecue sauce. And... It's really good. I mean, not kidding. I mean, if you like Sweet Baby Ray's, it's really good. There are cleaner ingredient barbecue sauces out there, but it's still really good. Uh, price on that, $5 a bottle you, when you get the regular size bottle. All right. I don't want these. Take all the good fat snacks, mini cookies. Um, did they? Like, what happened in here? Like, I think that I think the muffin thing exploded. Possibly. And like, it's all over the bag. Maybe that's why it was. Maybe that's why it was so dry. It was missing half of its ingredients. Um, have you had these? Yes. Oh, okay. So the ingredients. Almond flour, fat snacks, healthy snacks, blend of butter, cream of butter, which is cream, sustainable organic palm fruit oil, natural almond butter, which is roasted almonds, coconut oil, non-GMO erythritol, chocolate chips, which is chocolate liqueur, soluble fiber, erythritol, sunflower lecithin, stevia extract, natural flavor, inulin, natural vanilla flavor, water, eggs, dried eggs, high fat Dutch cocoa, dark cocoa, sea salt, natural chocolate flavor, xanthan gum, acacia gum, coffee, rosemary, stevia, and monk fruit extract. Good ingredients. Yes. Oh. Two servings per container, about seven cookies or 30 grams is the serving size. Okay. Um, 15 grams of fat, 12 grams of total carbs, uh, four grams of fiber, zero grams of sugar, but there is a erythritol and stuff in here. Yeah, it says right there, sugar, alcohol. Six. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, look at that. All right, so, so two, net two, carbs. Grand, two, two total carbs. Net. Net two carbs. Net carbs. My bad. I think I've had these. I want to say I didn't like them. This is double chocolate. I like this one. This is one of the better fat snack ones, I think. Really sweet. They're very sweet. They're good. They are. They're not my favorite though. I like the high key ones. You like the high key. Uh price on those three dollars and sixty cents a bag. <laughs> wow, you just like torturing me. Laguna Salt Company. Handcrafted sea salt. From Laguna Beach, California. All natural, I'd hope so. Non-GMO, <laughs> gluten-free. How is salt? <laughs> How could salt possibly be GMO? Cage-free, <laughs> non-GMO, aluminum-free, not tested on animals. <laughs> Whatever they can add to the list. Dairy-free salt. It's like I got a deodorant a while ago, and it was um, gluten-free. It, it said gluten-free, and I'm like, what the f How? How is there, who eat, you ate this for to test that there's no gluten in this. Okay, so this is sweet hibiscus infused salt. Oh, hold up though. 
What? I didn't know that. I thought it was. I thought it was just sea salt. I thought it was just pink salt. No, it's it's hibiscus. All right. Don't mess with me. There, there's a sweet. There's a sweet tea that I drink, and it is. There's. It's peach hibiscus. It's hibiscus flower with peach, and I promise you, if you mess this up, I will be upset. You put a lot in your mouth, and ew. Where's the hibiscus? I mean, I like salt. I don't taste. I barely taste it. No. It's not bad. Well, it's just salt. I mean, it, it tastes like salt. If you were to not tell, if if I didn't know that, that little thing is seven dollars. Yeah, no. If there were, <laughs> if I didn't know, it, it, like if you would have given this to me without the label and said this is just pink salt, like Himalayan salt, I'd be like, all right. Oh, hi. Hello. Come back later. I'll continue. If you would have told me that this was just pink salt, I would have been like, all right. I wouldn't have known there was hibiscus in here. I feel like they lying. Who was it? Amazon. Oh. We get a lot of Amazon packages delivered to our house. All right. Okay. Yeah, $7 for that little thing. Hmm. I'll take this. Oh, dear God. It's like falling apart in here. All right. Monk Pack Keto Nut and Seed. Less than one gram of... Sh oh, why am I reading the front? All right. For all of life's adventures, where is the ingredients? Under the fold. Oh, my gosh. It's like glued. What happened? Did a bag leak? Are they having like a leaking bag problem with this box? All right. Ingredients. Almonds, allulose, pumpkin seeds, macadamia, soluble tapioca fibers, sunflower seeds, palm kernel oil, rice flour, coconut oil, sea salt, natural flavors, sunflower leptithin, mixed tofurols, vitamin E for freshness, vanilla powder, monk fruit extract, responsibly sourced. Responsibly. They didn't, they didn't go all crazy with it. They responsibly did it. <laughs> Serving size, one bar. 13 grams of fat. Oh, and see, it's hiding. 150 calories. 13 grams of fat. 14 total carbs, 4 grams of fiber, less than 1 gram of total sugar, 7 grams of allulose, making it 3 net carbs. Now, we've had monk pet before. I think they're really good. They have good ingredients. Who's green? Why Pumpkin green? seeds. Oh, it looks nasty. I think Haven't it, we had this one before? We've had some of them. I mean, now, the day this got delivered, it was like 98 degrees outside, so everything kind of got a little melty in the mail. No. Something's wrong with it. It tastes like a bunch of sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds and but like sugar in it. Like not good. I like them. I don't. Price of them is two dollars and ten cents. Uh-uh. I also like the fact that they don't use they have soluble tapioca fiber, but they're not like using fiber as a sweetener. There's only four grams of fiber in it. Yeah. Wow. You know, you're supposed to be nice to me. Today's my anniversary. Shouldn't you be nice to me today? Nah. That's fine. Crazy Go Nuts Garlic Parmesan Walnuts. We should send this to Chris Bear. Ingredients. Walnuts. Parmesan wow. cheese. <laughs> I couldn't tell. De yeah, dehydrated Parmesan cheese. Which is pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, Hold on, and is there enzymes. garlic in there? Whey, buttermilk solids, sodium phosphate, salt, garlic, ah, salt, there it onion is. powder. I found it. 220 calories per serving, 22 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, uh, 6 total carbohydrates, 2 grams of dietary fiber. Oh my gosh, you need a knife just for that? This is how you slice your finger open, kid. It's a tough pad. I don't... Okay, yeah, you have all those. I want, like, one. I taste all the garlic and no, none of the Parmesan. They're good. I don't taste the Parmesan. No, it's very garlicky. Yeah. But I like them. I've had them before. Um, 
Price on these, $2.50 for this bag. Hold on. Mm. Dang. Everything looks good. You're gonna have to give me something decent. Yeah, we've done that, I'll give you that. All right, intact snacks, intact snacks. Crunchy cheese, Mediterranean mix. What is Mediterranean mix, you may ask? It is um, nowhere in the ingredient list. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where? Where is it? Okay, what's the ingredients? Oh, found it. Ingredients, mature semi-hard cheese, pasteurized semi-skimmed cow's milk, salt lysosome, which is eggs, uh, enzymes in cheese culture, tomato powder, basil, oregano, salt. Contains milk and egg. Two servings per container, about 18 to 20 pieces or 14 grams. 80 calories per serving, six grams of fat, less than one gram of total carbs, no fiber, no sugars. So we've had these before, they're really good. What I always find is they need more salt. We actually talked to the owner, it's the way they make them. So they're not quite as salty as some of the other cheese snacks. Ooh, well though. Okay, so wait, well, here's fat. what I want you to do. I want you to try one without salt. Now, this one's got a good flavor. Give me that salt. Oh, the fake pink salt? Here. I don't want, that's fine. <laughs> it's better with extra salt. Kind of like the flavor on its own. It's got good flavor. We're salt people. You're yeah, not a are. salt person. What's next? We didn't go over the. Have we even been um, going over the prices? Yes, we have. Are you sure? Yes. The salt was seven dollars. The monk pack we said was two ten. Oh, you're right. Uh, the intact was three dollars for a bag. Mm. Crispy cuts pork. Why can't I have the meat stick? Crispy cuts Fine. pork rinds. No, I got it. Fine. I got it. Don't I complain. See. I'm giving it to you. The ingredients in this are fried pork skins, grated Parmesan cheese, pasteurized skim milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes, spices, including peppercorn, salt, dehydrated garlic. So there is 80 calories per serving, 8 grams of fat, 7 grams of protein, 1 total carbohydrate. What are you doing? Nothing. That's not even from the box. I was, I'm waiting for my meat stick. You're taking too long. These are okay. They don't have a lot of flavor to me. Hold on. I'm eating my meat stick. You're you're contaminating the test taste the taste test. <laughs> is it me or they don't have a lot of flavor? Oh, no. They don't have a lot of flavor to them. They yeah. don't. Um, I mean, they're not bad, but they're $2.16 a bag. I'd rather go buy the ones that they have in like the gas station. It's like $1.50 yeah. and you get a lot more. All right. Last product. Big Fork Craft Pork Stick. Okay. I don't know. I have to hold it back here, apparently. <laughs> Um, ingredients, pork, what a shock, water, cane sugar, sea salt, natural flavors, citric acid, celery juice powder, and colored beef collagen. Oh my gosh, what is it? This writing is meant for like an elf. Serving size, one package. Uh, calories, 50, 2.5 grams of fat. Uh, zero, oh, hold on, I'm lost. Zero grams of total carb. Um, it said sugar. But it doesn't list sugar on the... It's probably less than one gram then. But like they don't even put sugar. Like it's just not Yeah, there because it's all. less than one gram. They don't have to put it. All right. But like fiber, it even says zero. But like even the sugar isn't there. Yeah. It's, it's just because they don't have to put it.
Wow, it almost tastes like bacon. I don't like it. It's okay. What do you think of those? I like these. We've had these on here before. No. Well, not that one. So that was sent to us, but they have some if that... this are, says anything. They have some that were keto and some that weren't. Those aren't keto. They have like four or five carbs. So I gave them all to you. But the keto ones are pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I like these ones better. Well, we can't have that one. It's got sugar in it. It's mm -hmm. got like five grams of carb per meat stick. Well, that is going to be our keto box video. Let us know down in the comment section if you've had any of these products. And uh, let us know which of these products you've had and which ones you did liked and which ones you don't like. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which we're going to put right over here. And whether you head that way or you head this way, don't forget to hit this way. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel and also make sure you hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye. bye.